everyone, welcome today to the topic incense and bowing in front of a shrine or altar. Uh, today I'm outside, it's a little bit more space for showing you also how to do it. And first of all, uh, how many incense we do. And by the way, it is for all people you, you are, you believe in a religion or not, it's not a matter, it's also good exercise and also good for the mind and conscious. And so, like back to the incense, uh, you can also just burn one when you didn't have time and you just make here with the outbow, then make one when you do for meditation, maybe also just one. But uh, if you make the bow, may do three. And why is it three? We have every time in Buddhism, Taoism and so on. Every time the number 3, 9, 18, 36, 72, 108 and so on. So 3 is very important and this means like uh, we have the 3 treasure. This means like Qing, Qi, Shen and Qing is the essence, Qi is the energy and Shen is the spirit, the ghost. So there you have the tree then in Tao Te Ching uh, chapter uh, 67 yeah and the number is 162 and there is written like uh, also three things compassion and moderation and humility 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 sorry humility yeah and then you have in by the buddhism you have like also three and this means the first is for buddha the second is for dharma for the the lecture and the knowledge and third is sangha for all the monks and practitioner so very the focus practitioner and so also for these three things so you see like we have every time three, then we also have like Tian Di Ren, so heaven of human. So we have uh, Yang and Yin, and then the human in the middle for Yin and Yang aspect. So we have also this three. So you see three is every time the number three in it, this is why we do three. And there we also, for myself, or I said for myself, I do with the, with my mindset and my mindset is like the first is uh, I show respect and gratitude to all uh, the gods, the immortals, uh, the teachers, the master. Uh, yeah, what I believe or from what I get from the people or from the knowledge. And the second is then for all uh, respect all the species and the nature and show gratitude and the third one is like also again respect and gratitude uh, for myself so you see this tree with this deep mindset and awareness you start the day differently and now we I show you uh, the bowing how I do it it's like in a Taoist way, but they feel free. But this like you open up uh, the energy circulation. So Dungmen, Renmen, you open up. Huh? Uh, the tongue should be here behind that we connect the circle. But I, this I can show uh, with the other video exactly. So first we clean the hand and the face hmm? that we refreshed and we are awake. Then we do all with conscious for the mindset. Huh? So we go pick it up by the shrine or by the altar, the incense, then a candle or we can do it with a fire lighter. We start to burn it. We wait. We never use our mouth to turn it off the flame. We just do with the hand or with the move. So I show you the option. First is like with the hand. Second, it's more easy going and you can combine with the bowing. 
So you just take it back and make it fast like this. And when you make it fast, just turn it off. So take it here in the middle half. The, with the other hand you cover. And then from here you come back to the center. You make three bowing. And then you go to the shrine. When it's here a cushion or something, go to the right or to the left. I go every time to the right. But now for the video I go to the left. So I go here. Then first one to the center. And remember what I said before, the three meaning. Then the second one, on the left. Same distance, same height. Then on the right. Again, make a little bit this move huh? with the hand to put it in. Just show that it's more like same distance, same level, and then you go back and we start. Huh? We focus here and then we have the distance we need. Make this bow. Now we can make a little bit closer when we are not close enough. When we close enough, we just start with the first one. Soft bowing, then to the front head. Left hand to the heart, right goes out, we go to the knee, in the knees, we go in front, right hand and then the left hand up and with the front head three times, one, two, three, left hand to the heart, right hand close to the body and we come up. Second, come with front head, go to the heart with the left hand, go slowly down the right arm comes out, the hand goes in front to the ground, the left hand comes on the right hand and we go with the front head three times to the hand. We come up, the left hand to the heart, the right goes directly on the body line upwards and then both hands come forward. The third time again to the front head, left hand to the heart, right goes outside forward to the ground left hand on the other hand and three times with the front head one two three left hand to the heart right hand up and together slowly up and then we make space for the next one and the next person can come uh, when not we just go ahead to whatever we want to do and uh, when three incense is burning when we arrive then we don't have to burn extra then we just can make the bow and when it's a, a special day or uh, like a birthday of a god or immortal we everyone can use three incense when, when not, when it's like a normal day, when it's burning, then we don't have to burn again extra when it's still some there. Yeah, and for me, for myself, it's very important, like I make this, with this three, deep, with this, with my mind three times about this. The first is about all the gods, the immortals, uh, yeah, the people we want to follow in the direction we want to go. So this is the first. The second one, we show respect and gratitude to all species on the planet, to nature. And third, we show respect and gratitude to ourselves and also the understanding that we do our best every day. And when we do this every morning, uh, it's very good for the conscious. It's very good like for the energy circulation, lumen remnant and then also for the balance for stretching and also for the fine muscles when we go very deep and open up like what we learn here slowly so it's very good uh, exercise and also good for the conscious and good for bring the energy in, in the shrine altar
yeah, this was all. Uh, I hope you know now a little bit more. Uh, write a comment when you like to know something a little bit more. Yeah. And yeah, subscribe me, share my videos, whatever you can do. I'm very pleasure. And thank you. See you next time. Goodbye.